Hello Phantom users, my name is Seb. This is a quick tutorial and this is just going to be covering how you can settle an order uh, that you make with a decentralized exchange such as Radium or you know any of them basically anything that uses Serum as the kind of underlying order book technology and then after we've done that we'll work out how we can basically recover any rent that we have spent. So here I am at dex.radium.io Got a little bit of uh, serum so i'm gonna just show you on my wallet here this is a tutorial wallet only a little bit of serum here i can deposit that and then i can go and sell that so i'm just gonna go sell it at this price for this buy order read all 70 and click limit sell serum and send that through now that's gone through however my USDC hasn't grown, which only my Serum has decreased. Now, Radium, they have their own support in Discord. You're welcome to go there, of course, and put in a ticket or anything. Just be super mindful of scammers. And if anyone sends you a DM, just ignore it. Don't, don't be clicking on those. What you should be able to do at this stage is just basically come and either click Settle, or Settle here, or Settle here, or settle here. If you click on one of those, you should you basically should be able to see your trade history here, your open orders here, and your balance here. But sometimes you can't. So you come to step.finance and then you connect your wallet. It will take a moment to load, and as soon as it loads, we should see the ability to settle the transaction there. Now, of course, you should be able to do this yourself quite easily here. Just for some reason, it doesn't work. So it's loaded, we've got our balances section here. There should be another section that see, says DEX. It'll only say DEX if you do have some sort of open order that needs to be settled. There it is, it just popped up. So down here, we've got an unsettled balance. As you know, doesn't matter what I'm doing here, I'm getting an error. It probably could be something quite easily worked out. However, this works. So we just come here and we click Settle. Prove, and then I'm going to get an extra $3.66 of USD coin. Now when you make one of those trades on a DEX, as opposed to say a liquidity pool, which is a bit different, liquidity pool you can just trade in and out of, like for example if you click here, this is all done via liquidity pool, so five dollars into Sol or a new token, there will be a minting cost which is rent you have to pay, and rent very very simply is basically every token that's in your wallet has a little bit of Solana in it, that is paid uh, to basically keep that token there for an infinite period of time. And that's what rent is. And normally at the moment with the current price of Solana at around $160, it's probably like 35 cents that you do for one trade, for the first trade, and then after that it's less than a cent to do a trade. But you do need to have that at first. So that's an easy way to do it. The only reason why you'd use something like an order book system is if you wanted to, you know, set a, an order lower. So maybe, you know, you're hoping the serum gets down to $8 and then you put in an order and it just sits there waiting for you. And that needs more Solana. And the amount of Solana that it holds is quite a bit more. So uh, it's not like 35 cents. It could be a couple of dollars. Sometimes it could be like $5 or more. Probably the easiest place to close that is at symmetry.fi. So come to symmetry.fi swap manage your portfolio i don't think it really matters just click here connect wallet phantom and we're good to go now here just click on the settings and then click view open order accounts and there are two open orders that we have now we can close them and then we can reopen them if we want to so you can see my solana here is 0 0.14 $24.54. Let's go and just close these and we'll see how much more Solana we get back. We're back up to $32. I'm not even sure if this one's worked yet. Let's have a look. And so yeah, $32. So there's quite a bit of Solana that was just been held there. So you can always access that again, but this is the easiest way, just closing it right with this brilliant app. Um, and just in general, swap.symmetry.fi, I think it's worth a bit of a play as you have the ability to go between different coins very, very easily. It's something that I'm certainly keen on trying more. 
Anyway, please leave a like and with the comment section in terms of suggestions, if there's some other tutorial you want made, just scribble it down there and I'll have a read and then try and do that if I can do it quickly. Thanks. Bye.